Welcome everybody uh, for this video I'll be discussing and going over acetal formation and uh, basically the way I've structured the video is I'll, for the first part of the video I will talk about just the reaction we'll go over a few examples and in the second part I will just go over the reaction mechanism so let's get started okay acetal formation Something very important to keep in mind about these reactions is that it's reversible, okay? And, uh, and they're at equilibrium. And um, again, these reactions are specific to aldehydes and ketones. So this reaction only works if you have an aldehyde or ketone, okay? It doesn't work with any other types of functional groups, okay? So let's just say we start off with this ketone over here okay we have this ketone and again since this is at equilibrium right it's and it's also reversible um, the reagents you use to form an acetal is H plus okay a proton source H plus and any type of alcohol okay so in this specific in this specific example I'll use a secondary alcohol so here's our secondary alcohol okay so there we have our secondary alcohol and our proton source H plus so the product of this reaction is this okay I'll draw it first and then I'll go over it uh, uh, briefly and then we'll go over some examples this is the product of the reaction and this is called your acetal okay and if you have noticed you know the the best way you know you could really become really good at organ organic chemistry is by trying to figure out what has happened uh, without looking at the reaction mechanism first thing you can uh, notice is that you completely have lost this uh, double bonded oxygen okay you lose that and what happens is that you add two of these alcohols and bonded to this carbon over here so you're forming a bond between the carbon of the carbonyl and the oxygen of the alcohol okay and obviously we you we lose our H uh, in one of the steps so and that's why we form ethers okay so we form two ethers in the product okay the acetal is basically uh, two ethers that are attached to the same carbon and see um, again the carbon of the carbonyl is where two of these alcohols have attached to okay so that is what an acetal is so let's go over some other examples so key thing two alcohols bind to the carbon of the carbonyl two alcohols bind to the carbon of the carbonyl okay so let's go over this example over here let's say we have this five membered um, ring and uh, we have it, again it's a ketone and then we react it with we have our H plus and then we have to use an alcohol well in this case let's use let's use simple alcohol I want to keep it uh, pretty simple for the first few examples so we have this primary alcohol again what happens is two alcohols bind to the carbon of the carbonyl because this carbon forms a bond with two of these alcohols the product of this reaction will be two ethers again and there's our acetal okay pretty straightforward it's not really that it shouldn't be that confusing and obviously we lose the H in the product right because now it's not a alcohol anymore it's an ether so there's another example of acetal formation acetal okay let's go over another example this one might be a little bit tricky 
again, I'm going to keep restating an, an important um, key fact that you need two alcohols, basically, to form your acetal. Now, let's look at this example. We have this aldehyde drawn as such. Again, it's at equilibrium. We have both product and reactant. And we use H plus again. And in this case, we'll use a different type of alcohol. In this example, we have two alcohols present. Let's make this arrow a little bit longer. We have two alcohols present on the reagent that we're starting off with. Initially in the previous examples we only had one alcohol. We had something like that and H plus. Right? In this example we have two alcohols present in the starting material, uh, excuse me, in the reagents we're using to react the aldehyde with so, what would be the product of this reaction? Again, you'll form an acetal, but it won't form the traditional acetal that we are used to seeing. Some of you guys may make the mistake of drawing this as your product, right? You guys may be assuming that, oh, we have to add two of these specific types of alcohols and bind it to make a bond between the carbon of the carbonyl. And you guys may draw this as a product okay some of you guys may have drawn this as your product but this is incorrect okay this is wrong okay wrong 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 okay so the product that you actually form from this reaction okay I always I've been telling you guys that you need two alcohols well you don't need to uh, add another one of these compounds as your second source of an alcohol you already have two alcohols present in on one of these compounds so one of the alcohols you can use is this one to form one of the ethers and the other alcohol you can use is this one to form the second ether so the product that you actually form from this reaction is again your two ethers your acetal but you form a cyclic product and there you have it I'll label it for you here's your carbon 1 and 2 here's your carbon 1 and 2 here's your oxygen here which is present here and here's your oxygen here which is present here I've been saying that you need two alcohols right but you already have two of the alcohols present on one of the compounds so why not just use one equivalent of this to form your acetal instead of using two equivalents of this okay so a very key thing so we'll go over another example of this specific style of of reaction products and stuff like that so let's just say for this next example um, let's say we have Okay, let's just say we have that. Actually, let's make it like this. So let's just say we're starting off with an aldehyde, right? Again, we use H plus, and we use this type of alcohol. Let's try this one. Okay, so you have a three carbon chain with an alcohol on carbon three and an alcohol on carbon one. Okay, so alcohol on carbon one, alcohol on carbon three. Either way, you can number it either way, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, so the product you form from this reaction, I'll draw it down here. You have your five membered ring and you form your acetal, right? Again, you have two alcohols present on one of these compounds, 
So instead of using two of these compounds to form your acetal, we'll just use one of these compounds, specifically this molecule right here. And the product we'll form will be our acetal like that a cyclic type of uh, acetal and you see I'll label it for you I don't remember how I how I said I numbered it but let's just say one two three one two three again it doesn't really make a difference how you number it it will be the same thing and uh, there's your oxygen that's attached to carbon number one and there's your car uh, there's your oxygen that's connected to carbon number three oxygen connected to carbon number three and there you have it that's basically the formation of acetals okay so it's pretty uh, straightforward just uh, get a lot of practice with it um, the best thing for you guys to do again is just pause the videos try working out the uh, try working out the problems and see and compare what you get uh, to the answer that I have so I've been I've been stating from the beginning of the video that this reaction is reversible so let's go uh, start off with the acetal and form our aldehyde or ketone so let's go in the reverse okay and again uh, for the second part I'll be talking about the reaction mechanism and I'll talk to you and I'll explain the forward reaction mechanism in the reverse uh, reaction mechanism so let's just say we have this acetal we'll keep it uh, pretty simple for the first example okay we have this acetal here right um, we have our two ethers and they're uh, bonded to the same carbon the carbon of the soon to be carbonyl the reagents you use in the reverse reaction is H plus H2O so H plus comma H two O will now give you uh, the reverse. Okay. So most easiest thing to do, you locate the carbon. Okay. So locate the carbon where you have the acetal formed. Okay. So here's the carbon, and it's bonded to one oxygen and it's bond to another oxygen right so this is the carbon that the alcohols bonded to to form this acetal now this is the carbon that's going to form the carbonyl so pretty straightforward you draw the same thing this little starting material this one two three carbon chain okay and all you do is form your double bond oxygen that's all it is to it. Again, locate the carbon where you have formed the two ethers. Okay? So locate the carbon where you have formed the two ethers. And that's where you're going to form the double bonded oxygen. So let's go over the uh, go, let's go over another example. Uh, we'll keep this H plus H2O the way it is. Let's just say we have um, um let's just say we have let's say that's the acetal we start off with All right, it's a cyclic type of acetal we have formed and again all you have to do is locate the carbon where you have formed the two ethers so you, you have to locate basically when I keep saying locate the carbon where you have formed the two ethers right you form the ether uh, between this carbon and basically the ether you have formed one is right here one ether right there and another ether you have formed is right there now you have to find a point where uh, one of the carbons is used twice to form uh, the two ethers okay this carbon here is used twice this carbon is used to form the ether in this position here and it's used uh, again to form the ether here so that's the carbon where, where we're going to form the carbonyl so all we have to do is draw our product like that okay 
and you know we could draw the alcohol as a byproduct of the reaction also or a major product of the reaction and again all you have to do is count the carbons that are present so one carbon here and another carbon there so it's a two carbon chain with two alcohols on each end with an alcohol on each end so one like that there's an alcohol there so you have formed this ketone and this alcohol okay and in the, in the previous example uh, I forgot to draw the alcohol but you could do it as optional um, so let's go over one more example before I end this video uh, on, on this part of the reaction so the forward and reverse let's just say we're starting off with um, you know, I'm trying to get fancy um, yeah let's just say one two three one two okay yeah let's just say well, this is the starting material okay we have an acetal drawn as such what would be the product again let's just put an H here make it kind of unique okay again you locate the carbon where um, both ethers are attached to right um, this carbon is used twice to form the two ethers so that's the carbon you want to use to form your C double bond O so that is how we will draw the product there's our aldehyde plus we form our two alcohols so two uh, alcohols okay pretty straightforward and there you have it uh, this is all it is to acetal formation um, stay tuned to the next part where I'll be discussing and going over the reaction mechanism both the forward and reverse